Hello, today I have a short section about maximum likelihood decoding and the reference is Simon Hawkins. Uh, first, you have an idea about what is the likelihood function. So, likelihood function is actually defined as the uh, conditional probability density function. That is, likelihood function of MI is a conditional probability density function of x given MI. So, usually instead of likelihood function, we will be using the log likelihood function, both BSI one to one relationship. So, log likelihood function is actually the logarithm of the likelihood function. So, the main characters of this is always this is a non negative function, and the logarithmic function is a monotonically increasing function. So, our aim is to apply this in an AWGN channel. So, we consider an AWGN channel and consider your received signal is x of t and x t represents a component of your received signal along the jth orthonormal basis function. So, as you know, your received signal will be having both the signal component as well as a noise component. Your component x j, that is a component of the received signal about the jth uh, Northern normal basis function will be having both the signal component as aj plus the noise component wj and its mean will be always equal to saj and its variance will be always equal to the variance of the noise that is n0 by 2 and it will be again a Gaussian random process. So, as we know any Gaussian random variable xj is a probability density function we can represent it by the general expression 1 by root of 2 pi sigma square e raised to minus of x minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma square. That is it can be completely defined by in terms of means and variance. So, in the general expression you substitute mean equal to sij and variance equal to n0 by 2. So, you will be having the expression 1 by root of 2 pi sigma square. Sigma square is n0 by 2. E raised to minus of x x is sj minus mu. Mu is sij the whole square divided by 2 sigma square. Sigma square is n0 by 2. So, you have the equation for the conditional probability density function. Now, when you consider the conditional probability density function of the world random vector x, so as you know x day, x day is a component along of the received signal along the jth orthonormal basis function. So, all of this will be independent of each other. So, you know x j is value of x j for i equal to 1 to n will be independent of each other. The conditional probability density function of x given m i will be the product of j equal to 1 to n f x j given m i where i actually represents m i represents your right the transmitted symbol and i consider i equal to 1 to m will be having m number of transmitted symbol and which can be represented by n number of orthonormal basis function so i have already I have the equation for fxj that is conditional probability density function of xj given mi so you can substitute it over here and take the product n times product of j equal to 1 to n take the substitute this over here and take the product n times so you will be getting fx f of x given mi will be pi n0 the all raised to minus n by 2 e raised to minus of 1 by n0 sigma j equal to 1 to n xj minus sij the whole square so now you have the equation for the conditional probability density function as you have defined earlier conditional probability density function is a law likelihood function so this is actually the expression for the likelihood function so taking the log you will be getting the log likelihood function so the log likelihood function means taking the logarithm of this expression you will be getting two terms one is minus n by 2 log pi n0 which is a constant then taking the logarithm of the exponential term will be equal to minus 1 by n0 sigma so j equal to 1 to n x j minus s i j the whole square. So, you will be having two terms by taking the log that is this is one term and this is another term. So, this term is a constant. So, you can ignore the constant term. So, in the log likelihood function I have considered only this term minus 1 by n0 sigma so j equal to 1 to n s j minus s i j the whole square. Now, you have the expression for the log likelihood function of an AWG channel now we go to the maximum likelihood decoding so we consider the coherent detection of signal we assume there are m possible transmitted signal that is s1 s2 is a type of sm and all are transmitted with the equal probability 1 by m so each of the signal we can represent in an n-dimensional euclidean space if we consider there are n number of basis function each of the signals can be represented in an n-dimensional euclidean space so 
an example is shown here i have considered there are three basis function phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 so i have represent one signal vector si over here and the corresponding message point is marked over here similarly i can um, uh, mark the received signal point again i can represent in the same euclidean space so for that what i do is i take the received signal and apply to a bank of n correlators so this is a figure i have the received signal i apply to a bank of correlator so i have the output x1 x2 is a to x1 x1 represents a component on the first basis function x2 represents a component on the second basis function similarly on the nth basis function so i have the observation vector so i can mark the same observation vector he will be having the component of phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 i can mark the observation vector in the same euclidean space and correspondingly i can mark the received signal point and you have you can see that the message point and the received signal point are defaced by some this some distance and that is known as a noise vector so what happens here is always when you plot the message point over here, your received signal will be always wandering about the message point and it will be somewhere within this noise cloud. So a detection procedure is from the observation vector you have to uh, get an estimate of what was your actually transmitted message signal. Okay, so you have to get an estimate of your transmitter signal. Your observation vector x will be given. From that, you have to get an estimate of the transmitter signal. For that, we will be using the maximum likelihood detection. So in maximum likelihood detection, we have to get the estimate of your transmitter signal. So that will be equal to, consider it will be equal to mi. So your condition here is you have to minimize average probability of simple error. So the symbol error I denoted it as PE that is the probability of error even MI given the observation vector X. So error means I have taken the decision in favor of MI but your actual value was MA is not the actually sent message that means there is an error. So error means probability of MA not sent given X but your decision is in favor of MI means there is an error. Or you can represent this like this, that is 1 minus probability of current decision P of M is and given X. So your aim is to minimize this error. Okay. So minimize this error means this error term should be minimum means the probability of M is and given X should be maximum. So you have to maximize this one. So you can restate the decision rule like this. M estimate will be equal to MI if probability of M is and given X is maximum or it will be greater than or equal to all other values of mk sent given x for all k except for i. So this should be maximum that is the condition. So this term actually it is a posteriori probability or it is known as a maximum a posteriori probability of macro. So we can convert this in terms of the priori probability as well as in terms of the likelihood function. So for that we apply the base rule we know probability of h given e will be equal to p of h divided by p of e into p of e by h the same thing we can apply for the continuous distribution f of y given x will be equal to f of x given y into f of y by f of x so the same thing we can apply over here we have to find out p of m i sent given x so p of m i sent given x means f of x given m i or m k into P of mk that I wrote it as pk then fx so pk is a priori probability of the occurrence of mk and this function this is actually the conditional probability density function of x given mk so that is actually the likelihood function then this one fx of x means it is an unconditional probability there is no condition given it is an unconditional probability density function of x so the denominator here you have actually in calculating this you have three terms and this is the priori probability. Priori probability usually you consider the symbols are transmitted with equal probability and that will be how to having the same value. And you know and this one is the unconditional probability. So unconditional probability is independent of the transmitted symbol. Then you have one more term that is this term. This term is actually your likelihood function. So you can, you have to maximize this term means you can maximize the likelihood function. The remaining two terms you can neglect, you can maximize the likelihood function. So the decision rule is M estimate will be equal to MI if this likelihood function is maximum. Or you can say in terms of log likelihood function, log likelihood function is maximum. 
So, uh, we can consider this uh, observation space. So, here what we have done is here the total observation space uh, is divided into a partition into m number of decision regions. And so, I have four number of message points, I have partition into four regions. If my observation better recent region is set 1, I will decode in favor of message 1. If my observation later lies in region is set 2, your estimated transmitter cell well will be message 2. If it lies in region is set 3, your estimate of your transmitter cell well will be message point 3 like that. Okay. Now the decision rule we can restate like this. If your observation later lies in region is set i, means the log likelihood function will be maximum for particular value of k equal to i if x so the log likelihood function should be maximum so this i can uh, conclude there is if the vector x is in region is like log likelihood function will be maximum for k equal to i so you have the already have the expression for the log likelihood function log likelihood function is minus 1 by n0 sigma j equal to 1 to n x j minus s k square so you have to maximize the log likelihood function means you have to minimize this term because we have already have a term minus 1 by n0 or minus sign there so log likelihood function maximum means this term should be minimum so this term is actually equal to the norm square value of x j minus s k square so norm is actually the distance between these two points that is this represents a received signal point and this represents your original message point. So this actually shows the distance between the received signal point and message point. So this should be minimum means this maximum likelihood function uh, or likelihood decision rule actually implies simply to choose the message point which is closest to the received signal point. So that is all about maximum likelihood decision. So we will select uh, the point which is closest to the uh, closest to the received signal point. Okay, thank you.